Hello everyone, today I'm going to review the smallest Fujifilm lens, the Fujifilm 27mm WR f2.8 on the Fujifilm X-T5 to see if this lens still holds up to its popularity as one of the best lenses for street photography. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Andrei Dima, I am a professional travel photographer and video maker and in the past weeks I had a lot of fun testing the 27mm on my X-T5 in Madrid and Valencia, Spain, the upgrade to the most sold lens from Fujifilm. The biggest strength of this lens is its size, it is a very light and small lens, making it a great option for everyday use, street and travel photography. The build quality, like all Fujifilm lenses, is great for a lens that weighs only 84 grams. It is a perfect companion for small cameras like the X-E4 and also bigger cameras like the X-T5 and X-H2S. The mount is metal and it has a big rubber gasket because this lens, compared to the previous generation, is weather sealed. The XF 27mm f2.8 WR has an aperture ring. It's a great addition because we all love aperture rings on our Fujifilm lenses and the first gen didn't have one. The focus ring is very narrow but I don't mind that. I will rarely use this lens manually because spoiler alert the autofocus is quite good. Sadly, the filter thread is 39mm and not all manufacturers make filters this size. I just loved using this lens for the past weeks. Those of you who follow the channel know I am trying to downsize as much as possible these days. And this lens is as much as possible. You can keep it in your jacket pocket or you can leave it in your backpack permanently because you will never feel it's there. Let's take a look at the autofocus of this lens in video and photo, minimum focus distance and then at the image quality on a demanding 40 megapixel sensor. I was surprised by the video autofocus of this lens. Most Fujifilm primes are not that good for video except the new trio, 18, 23 and 33. But when you consider the price of this lens, size and weight, well, you don't expect much, but it is actually good compared to other Fujifilm lenses. Sadly, it has some focus breathing and the autofocus motor is a bit loud, so if you put a microphone on your camera, it will pick it up. But for everyday use, it is quite good. It worked better on my X-H2S than my X-T5, but not by much. The photo autofocus is good as well, not the fastest, but it is confident and I found it ok in my use for street and travel photography. The minimum focus distance is 35cm, not the best but not the worst and the image quality is decent starting from f2.8, at f4 it is very sharp. Regarding chromatic aberrations, for such a small lens, this is a good performer. When it comes to flaring, well, what would you expect from a lens design like this? The bokeh of this lens for me is not that great, but you can get decent results at f2.8 if you get close. To me, it looks a bit crowded. But I mainly shoot this lens at f5.6 because I think this is its sweet spot. F2.8 is good for some low light shots and video but it is not the brightest, luckily the Fujifilm cameras have that beautiful noise, yes I said a camera has beautiful noise, in a video, again. When it comes to focal length, the 27mm 40.5mm on full frame is a very nice everyday focal that can capture wide scenes but can be also good for close ups. The first thing I noticed on this lens is that it has some character. The photos have a 3D pop just like the 35mm f1.4, my favorite lens of all time.
It's not just like that, but let's say half, and that makes me love this lens. Enough chit chat, let's talk about the image quality, well the sharpness, because what I said earlier is part of the image quality. Starting from f2.8 you get good image quality, not great, good, the corners are a bit soft and you can notice a bit of vignetting, stop down to f4 to get very good results in the center and better in the corners, going further to f5.6 to get great results from corner to corner. F8 is great as well and at F11 the image gets soft because of diffraction. I expected a lens like this to have worse image quality, especially on a demanding sensor like the one in the X-T5, but I was pleasantly surprised by its sharpness, contrast and character. Yes, the bokeh is not that great, but this is still a great performer. Can it resolve all 40 megapixels? I don't think so, but the photos are sharp enough. Not all lenses will resolve 40 megapixels, but you will get a boost in image quality. Not as much as you'd expect, but you will. From what I've seen so far, Fujifilm has just a few lenses that can take full advantage of the 40 megapixels. The build quality is great like all Fujifilm lenses. It now has weather sealing and an aperture ring with clicks. The autofocus is good for photos and video. Yes, the lens has some drawbacks, but for a lens like this, I can understand. They had to make some sacrifices, so I'm okay with the negatives because this lens performs very well where it should. I think every Fujifilm user should have this lens in their kit, and I hope Fujifilm will release a Mark III of this lens in the future with some improvements. So the Fujifilm 27mm f2.8 WR is a standout lens in my opinion, works very well on the newer cameras, and now it has weather sealing and a nice aperture ring. So if you skip the first generation of this lens and thinking of buying this one, I highly recommend it. If this video was helpful, subscribe, like and use the links in the description to support the channel. See you next time.